Yeah, so, you know, I haven't uploaded YouTube in a while, man. So, quick little rant. You know, I want to do a podcast episode, um, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. I get everything situated. But, you know, I just wanted to talk today, you know, about the social credit system that's in place now. They've been warning us, saying, oh, it's coming, it's coming. No, it's already here. You know, I think that if someone doesn't like you, you know, they feel entitled enough maybe to try to jeopardize you know your livelihood and then you know they'll say well like you know you shouldn't have jeopardized your own livelihood you're not conducting yourself in the fashion that we deem acceptable but like last i heard you know we were supposed to be a republic um but they also say a democracy you know but it's very authoritarian you know and dictatorly you know and i think that you know the constitution is you know under attack you know they're trying to violate free speech they're trying to definitely come for the second amendment you know they really want the second amendment super bad who's they you know the people in charge that you know process legislation and you know make the rules and you know control us you know they want the second amendment because with the second amendment you know then they can bring the combine in now if you don't know what the combine is you know there's a game half-life 2 you know you don't have to play it you can look it up type in half-life 2 combine in google and you know they're a bunch of stormtrooper looking dudes that got cattle prods and you're just you know you will you will obey you know that's where we're headed man we're headed to you know not owning anything you know soup kitchens and you know um they'll give us tents or you know government housing you know i don't know man like i just feel like it's 2024 by 2030 you know the country could look drastically different and maybe you know some of the people you know they've been um bamboozled into thinking that this would be the way, you know, because there's a lot of anti-capitalism, you know, uh, but really crony capitalism is what's got us messed up, you know, but what I'm saying is like, you know, it's just crazy that like how, you know, if someone simply just doesn't like you and what you represent and they're in a position of power that, where they can affect you, you know, it's insane to me how like they can just get away with, you know, being like a dictator, you know, ruling with an iron fist. You know, I thought that, you know, we definitely had like rights and laws and, you know, but they're trying to get rid of them. They're trying to get rid of them and, you know, pay attention. You know, if you go on Twitter, Twitter's the worst place or X, you know, it's like every time I scroll on Twitter, I just get depressed, man. you know, every time. And YouTube kind of similar, you know. There's a, a narrative being pushed. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, if you don't conform with the agenda, then, you know, they'll get you the hell up out of here, man. They've been doing it for, you know, years now. Probably, I would say, you know, 2010, 2012, 2014. You know, it just, it just has ramped up. It has ramped up to where it's like, you know, they're trying to get it passed into legislation, you know, and the corporations, you know, they're pretty much like, okay, we're gonna follow the agenda, you know, because it's profitable. So by following the agenda, you know, they're trying to pass their own laws. Like they don't have to follow the laws of the land in which they operate. You know, it's insane to me, you know, and I'm just wondering like, am I the only one that sees this or is it because most people are just conformed? Like I have to do what I have to do, you know? I think a social credit system's always really kind of been in place, but like, now they're trying to modify it, you know, because everybody should be a decent person. You know, my whole thing with social credit is that if someone doesn't like your conduct, they don't like your behavior, who are they to just basically make, be the judge, the jury, and the executioner on you? You know, that's the troubling part about it. That's what's terrifying is that, you know, we're giving power, you know, over our autonomy, you know, to basically corporations and, you know, um, your boss, you know, your superior, you know, especially if you're on the employee level, you know, and not many of us, you know, they're not educating us for the business aspect of it. You know, like we could operate our own businesses and create our own schedules and make money in different ways that are deemed untraditional. You know, it's traditional to go punch the time clock, you know, do your 40, you know, hit your eight and skate, you know, however you want to play it, you know, but like these jobs really like employee wages, you know, cutting the profit margin so you know these jobs really ain't paying man and then it's like once you get the skills it's like you're in a lot of debt 
you know what I'm saying? Maybe the skilled jobs aren't paying, you know? And then it's like, there's no education. So we don't really know about going and, and, and starting our own businesses. And then, you know, with they attack the small businesses, you know, they'll, they'll attack them. And, and, and then with the rules and everything like that, like the, the big corporations, you know, they got the best rule set, you know? And, you know, I think it comes down to, man, it's just like, you know, I think the elite people of the world don't want to see, you know, certain individuals on the resort with them or, you know, catching a, a PJ, a private jet, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, being able to, you know, self-sustain and compete. This competition, you know, like what's the best way to get back at a corporation? I think compete with them. You know, you ain't got to necessarily put them out of business, but make more money than them. You know, if I make more money than your corporation, you know what I'm saying? Then, aha, you know, and they don't want that, man. So, you know, I'm just wondering, like, man, I know I can't be the only one that, like, notices what's going on. You know, I consume a lot of YouTube content, you know, and, you know, conspiracy theories, you know, all these these terminologies are used now all the shaming language the shaming language you know it's all out here and you know it's a evil world we live in it, man these people don't care about you man these people don't care about you they will leave you for dead they will leave you for dead with no regard for your mental health you know but i see a lot of mental health promoted you know and you know it's just one side getting catered to man it's just one side you know this is for the fellas man you know the lady's gonna be all right you know, the lady's gonna be all right, man. But for the fellas, nobody wants to stick up for the fellas, man, because we're all in competition with each other. You know, there's a lot of mate guarding in the world. You know, if you don't know what mate guarding is, it's, you know, someone's trying to basically cock block you. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to cock block you, man. A lot of that going on, man. Always gonna happen to the end of time, you know? We're not in tribal days no more. You can't just go tomahawk somebody or, you know, hit them with a bow and arrow. You can't, you know what I mean? You're not allowed to do that, man, it's illegal. You know, legal to even put your hands on another individual. So, but you know, naturally from the DNA level, you know, I think that you know, a woman, you know, if she sees a big, strong man, she's thinking at the primal state, you know, he could fuck the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, these guys out here, you know, a lot of them, they think they're the only ones that are entitled to this stuff, man. And you know, if they can get you, if they can make sure you ain't getting no money. You know what I'm saying? Then they feel like you're out the way. You know, it's, it's actually insane, but that's not necessarily the truth. Like I said, sometimes, you know, just there's natural like DNA root level elements at play here in terms of appearance, in terms of, you know, how you look and how well you take care of yourself. Money's not even real, man. You know, it's not even real, man. But everything, you know, is playing. It's like everything's playing together, bro. Like. You know, the government is basically saying, you gonna get down, you gonna lay down, all right? You gonna follow these rules and we gonna change society right before your very eyes, you know what I'm saying? Did you ever, when you were a kid, you know, studying in history class, think that they would just say, you know what? Like, we are going to attack the constitution. We need to change the constitution. And they do it in a way where it seems like social justice, like, oh, it's to, you know, get rid of the prejudice or, the discrimination or the ageism or the sexism you know everything's misogyny everything's but really we're in a state of misandry um a lot of people act like they don't even know what misandry is but whatever you know um, 60 years of misandry building and festering has exploded you know and, and it's eroding what our forefathers i've heard people say fuck the forefathers and i'm sitting here like are you serious like what you mean fuck the forefathers like you're saying that they made a mistake because like our constitution, you know, like I said, it was built to defend against tyranny. You know, we originally came over here to get rid of the taxation and to run from the monarchy. But like, doesn't it kind of feel like that still exists? There's still taxation out the wazoo. You know, we kind of live in a, in a monarchy, like a, a, a monarchy because of the politicians and, and their families. Their families are very powerful now. They're like royalty. You know, and like, we're peasants, you know, like, I am a blue collar peasant, you know, I pet, I punch the time clock. Now, you know, you can always make skills, you know, in, in your own way, but it's not promoted in, in the education. You know, I'm going back to the education, you know what I'm saying? They really put a damper on education. Like, I'm from the era, I remember when I was in eighth grade, no child left behind, came a thing, you know, basically you can't be held back no more. So, 
you know, in our public schools where I'm from, you know, they were they were funded pretty well. I always see them getting grants, you know, millions upon millions of dollars. But like, I'm not sure if, you know, that was really the issue. You know, the money helps, but it's like, I think that there's a fundamental issue at the core of, you know, is there some entity out there that is like, we do not want people educated, you know? I wanna know, let's start there. Anyways, you know, I've been, I wanted to do about 10 minutes real quick, man. I kind of rambled on everything like that. If you made this far, salute, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll be back around, man. I'm gonna, you know, consistently make some of these videos.